Hello everyone, this is Demand208, and here we are with RimWorlds. It's been one of my favorite games. I know people are probably going to be like, Hey, you're copying Aruba or uh, Mathis. But I don't care what people say. I love this game. This game is one of the my favorite indie games developed. It's currently on Alpha 7, that is the version. Uh, 7.5 to be exact. But uh, it is... So much fun, and uh, the reason why I'm showcasing this is one, because it is a really fun game, and I love playing it. And two, is so that other people can get on it and try it out and see what it is. It's it's a blast. So, RimWorld, well, I'll let you see. I'm not going to load a game, we're going to create a new colony. So here are, it's kind of like the Left 4 Dead uh, AI director. So you have uh, Cassandra Classic, Phoebe Facebook base builder and Randy Random. That's what the director for this game will be and obviously we had difficulty levels here. And uh, I prefer Cassandra Classic and Challenge. That's what we're gonna go for. Even though Randy Random could be a lot of fun. Alright. And uh, what you do is you generate a world and uh, we'll just select a world I've already generated. So we'll just select this one. Nova Elton in. And this is the world we've generated before. And uh, we're just going to go search around for a place to drop off. It is a colony sim. What is that? Oh, a pirate band. Interesting. So, a colony is over here. Hmm. Interesting. Would allow me to settle there. Ah, let's not play with it. So we have, uh, we got some interesting places. This is a tropical rainforest, which are uh, very diseased and very hard to move through. We got shrublands, and we got uh, grasslands, uh, tempers, forests, and mountains. And uh, you know what? I've been doing mountains for a while. Uh, should I do mountains again? I've never done arid, but I'm kind of afraid to, because. Uh, you know, I hate to fail my first playthrough, but you know what? YOLO. Let's select this. We'll do small hills. That way it's not completely the same. And we'll select that site. Uh, hmm. We got NG Engineer. Uh, we got. Let's randomize a bit. So you're capable of intellectual and artistic. So female human, Clara Reese. She has. A a brawler and psychically dull. She's got a passion in uh, medicine, a huge passion in cooking and social, a passion in melee, and a passion in mining. And she can do a little bit of growing, she can do construction. That's very good. NG Engineer. She's got a green thumb, so she's really happy about growing. It'll make her happy. Uh, she's got construction, growing, research, mining, and shooting, and crafting. She is amazing. And then we got Trigger, a sergeant. Cycling Dole, a careful shooter. He could just, he's, he's capable of everything. He's social, he has a huge passion for melee and shooting. Uh, research and construction and medicine. You know what? We'll take these three people. These will be our first colonists in our new colony. Let's start. We'll generate the map and we'll have a little bit of fun. How's that sound? <laughs> Now, you probably saw Prepare Carefully uh, at the bottom there. That's actually a mod I have. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay, let me go pause. for You press space bar to pause, just so you guys know. And this is some metal over here. <gasps> is that plasteel? Oh no, it's silver ore. That's actually awesome. I was I was about to get really excited there if I saw plasteel. I know you can get that as an ore, but I've never really found it before, so that would have been awesome, but... No, what is this? Gold! Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, I know that sounded pretty weird there, but... Uh, <laughs> I've never had gold before, and I'm so happy. Like, you would not believe. And we got, like, a building here. So here are our three colonists. We have NG, female colonist. That's, you know, the engineer. See? Character. We got Reese. And we got Trigger. Oh god, he's 69. Well, uh, this is his health. He has no injuries. No injuries. No injuries, you know. They're all fine. We can have operations here. We'll 
discover that a bit later. So where do we want to settle? You know, part of me really wants to go after this gold. But, uh, oh my god, I see some more gold. That's probably not a smart idea. We probably need to settle, you know, hmm. Where is a good spot that I can think of and see? You know? How about right here? We got uh, a geyser over here, so let's do that. We'll just move over here. We'll first put a stockpile. The stockpile will be, I don't know, like right here. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll do a growing zone. Right there. Uh, you know what? I probably need to expand that, so let me just... I said... Oh, delete the zone. My bad. I'm just being stupid right now. I've played this game a lot. I don't know why I didn't know that for a second there. But, oh, okay. There we go. Now we got a growing zone. And that should be good. And you see, we'll be crashed. We have a bunch of equipment here. Trigger, I want to let you equip the Lee Enfield. You get the pistol. Is there another pistol? I don't see another pistol, so. Sorry. And we're just going to have all the silver unrestricted, all the metal unrestricted, all the wood unrestricted, all the medicine unrestricted, and all the food unrestricted. Is that? Oh, there's another pistol. So, go, go equip that. Alright, so what we first need is we need a bed. Well, yeah, we need bed and a room. So first things first, I'm gonna mine this out over here because we want something over we want I would love to have a... uh no actually I want to cancel that over there. So we're gonna kinda dig in here as our base of operations. You know. And uh let's go look at the overview. So the only one who's going to allow to be hunting is Sergeant, because, you know, he's got a really nice skill at hunting. Uh, NG Engineer, are you a fan of mining? Yes, you are. How about you? Are you a fan of mining? Yes, you are. Everyone's a fan of mining, so that's a lot of fun. Mining and growing and uh, plant cutting. <laughs> We're just going to have everyone do everything for a bit. So, yeah. And, uh... Trigger does have the passion for medicine, and he's the only one with warding skills, so obviously we'll want that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, hmm, let's do, let's do a wood building real quick. Yeah, we'll just do a quick little wood building just so it's over with and people have a place to sleep. A uh, wood door. And then we'll do structures. I know furniture. And we'll get some wood beds. So, boop, boop, boop. There. Because <laughs> uh, you want places to sleep and you don't want them to sleep on the ground because they'll be unhappy. And that's not what we want. We're obviously going to delete this because, you know, we got a geyser here for power. <laughs> Actually, we probably need to uh, remove all this, uh, all this rock over here. I'm going to be completely honest. So there's uh, lots of ways we can uh, build into this uh, rock over here. I... Honestly, what would be the best option? I wouldn't really know, but uh, we want that. We want that gold. We want it. <laughs> so we're gonna go for it. So they start the construct. They place down all the wood and metal. I assume everyone can haul, right? Yeah, everyone can. Just NG's being the the smart person. Oh no, you're starting to haul as well. Or are you? I'm not sure. So he started to plant. Let's go speed up time a little bit so it's not so dull. Because I know it can be. And we got some beds being made. So that's fun. So obviously one, two. And beds for all three. That's the first of our many things that we have to do. 
Uh, you probably notice this art style is similar to Prison Architect, if you are familiar with that game. That is only temporary though, so he is working on a new art style, but it might take a while. But for now, I, I like this art style, so he'll work. There's nothing to hate. <laughs> it is always nice to have uh, a geyser, so you don't have to worry about solar panels. Now, as you see, they're planting potato plants. That way they get to have something to eat. Potato plants, you know, they're, they're not the best source of food, but uh, they'll do. They'll do. And as you can tell, this game has excellent music. And this is how we're going to do it. We'll start digging in there. <laughs> and obviously we're going to put a wall around here because we don't want anyone attacking our geyser. Geyser senpai must be protected. So if I show you with the geothermal, yeah, it's quite large. Even our wood structure is in the way, so I definitely want to make some room for that. There's quite a lot of metal that I see just out in the open. That's kind of nice. Because uh, when I play those huge mountainous maps where you got nothing but mountains, it's uh, kind of annoying. So, to find metal. Is that... What is that? Is that silver? That's silver? Wow. We got silver and gold. That's nice, because uh, there are trading ships that come by, just so you know. But uh, we're just starting out. We're just, just three people living on the frontier. The new planet. <laughs> See, we got some boom rats, just so you know. Some boars. Uh, we still got some... Ooh, actually, we're running out of food. So, we need to work on power soon. You know what? We need power so much that I'm willing to actually just spend on a solar panel. We can always deconstruct it to get the metal back, so. <laughs> That's always an option. That way we could get a cook stove working, you know. And a production. Cook stove and right there. That's gonna be the butchering table. Right there. That way, you know, Trigger can go hunt some stuff. We probably need a dumping zone, but uh, you know, it's never necessary. You know what? Haul this shit. Get those stones out of there. Yeah, we need a dump. So, dumping zone. There. Go put it on the marsh. This shitty ground. See, it's mud. Where are the deer? I've always wanted to know where those are. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Hi, deer. I see there's still some more silver and metal down here. I, I'm not going to unrestrict that. Just for now, because uh, it's quite a long walk, and I don't want to get anyone trapped, because we do have threats. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're forgetting uh, an important piece of the puzzle here. A light. Is that... Oh, wow, there's already this metal there. That's awesome. So yes, we do need to get batteries. That is the unfortunate part of this, but uh, we'll be fine. And since we do have a cook stove, and we do have uh, well, a butchering table, we might as well go hunting. Uh, how do you feel about... Oh, there's a turtle. There's a turtle. Isn't that interesting? Let's go hunt some boars. Yeah, we'll just go after... Boars provide a lot of meat. So we'll just get three boars for now. We don't want to beat the rot before we have a chance to eat it. Ooh, there's more food over here. More package survival meals. <laughs> so we do have that. Uh, I'm going to restrict our medicine for a while because medicine is expensive and rare. You do not want to lose your medicine. Medicine, not having medicine is terrible. You can see trigger here. Start the fire. Ooh. 
That was a good shot. Wow. Three for four. Four for five. Wow, that's a pretty accurate guy. <laughs> I know why his name is Trigger. Oh. Careful now, Trigger. And I know who I'm going to give an R4 charge rifle to. Ah, stop missing. Stop missing. There you go. So, in order to get them to butcher, however, you need a butcher creature. I'm going to put that on infinite. And then cook simple meal. Put that on infinite. That way, you just add a bill. <laughs> and uh, we'll configure that a bit more later. That's silver. Oh shit, there's silver right there. I didn't even notice. I am not very observant, but uh, I guess I will be now. And look at that. Got some meat, and she's already started to cook. <laughs> look at that, Reese. Aren't you awesome? So yes, we want to get the silver, because silver is awesome. And we definitely want to move this operation indoors, so. Yeah, well, let's hunt some boars. Boar meat, as you can tell, 74 boar meat. Probably hunted a little bit too much for three people, but yeah. We do need batteries, we do need defenses. So, here's what we do. Put some, uh, this will be our little battery storage here. Put, put a, what? What's wrong with this? Is this, oh fuck, it's mud. Okay. Well, that was a nice way to start that off. Okay. Ooh. Not yet. Close. Not yet. So we'll just do like this for now until we get our geothermal going and we do need defenses so we don't want our people shot all right so the start is not exactly what I'm used to but uh, we're getting there we're getting there so his mining capabilities he, he's got the passion no no he doesn't actually he has no passion in mining why is he mining then Oh well, well. He shouldn't be the only one mining, but I guess he is now. All right. And then we'll just get her to start working on that. Yay! There we go. Now we start storing batteries. That's not so bad, though, is it? A group from... Oh, I forgot the name already. So, Kelsey, these two people just visiting. Just checking us out. Feeling us up. You know, you know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I think I like this start. Bit different. Is that silver? That is silver. So we get silver and metal right there. We're probably going to have to fill this up later with just barriers because <laughs> you don't want to have too many entrances. You generally want people to come in through one entrance. Okay. I'm going to suspend you from cooking simple meals. We've got 12 of them and they do spoil. So you want to prevent that from happening. Oh my. And the power's out. Actually, what I can do is I could just do this to conserve power. That way, it just goes straight to the battery. <laughs> See the mining? That's glorious. We want to move to the... You know, we definitely don't want to stay here forever. 
So, I've never actually seen like a silver ore uh, deposit and a metal deposit be literally right next to each other. So that's interesting. <laughs> that wasn't what I was expecting, but uh, I'll take it. That's that's awesome. We got potatoes. Got some potatoes. Good. Since we do have this over there, what I'll do is I'll do production. We'll do a nutrient paste. Oh, I forgot how big this was. So, not yet. A local boar has gone mad. He'll attack everyone he sees. So, trigger. You have an option. Come down over here. We'll just start this on normal play. Okay, there you go. So you were injured a little bit. And then I'll have you. I'll just set this as medical. And then you go over there. Rest until fully healed. Actually, right now we're receiving treatment over there. And there you go. And then everyone. No longer drafted. <laughs> there we go. See? We're fine. We're all okay here. I do wish they would stop eating. You know what? For now, you don't need to touch it. You don't need to touch it. For now. Now you could just... <laughs> you can just eat simple meals. Then go eat your meal. Go heal her up. <laughs> All right. Well, that's enough for this episode, people. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next time.